Did I, I? I tweeted that, right? Yeah, I did. Why do they do this to me? I just want to enjoy my dumplings and just like prepare all the tweets and stuff ahead of time. And it's like, oh, he's been going Terry the entire time. But apparently, when his when he's up against Ducklands, it's like, oh, I got the Meta Knight. I got a special character for you. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Meta Knight versus Duck Hunt. Destiny versus Fawn. Winners finals. Game one on small battlefield. Gentlemen, you can go there. Uh. All right. Let's see what happens. So you know, already got some uh, some okay damage. Uh, actually, on both of them, really. Uh, keeping things relatively even. Uh, Fawn now closing the gap and uh, creating one, taking a bit of a lead. But you know, Meta Knight. Uh, operates at like a different tempo. Unless you do a dumbass uh, shuttle loop like that. I don't know who you were hitting, but uh, the open air is not your opponent. Duck Hunt is. So now, fun with a bit of a lead. Uh, gonna get some extra damage. I'm just like, uh, okay, you know, you know what? I was a little bit too critical on that shuttle loop. That was kind of close to hitting. Still, a little bit, uh, uh... Still not a big fan, but definitely closer than I gave it credit for. Anyway. Uh... Oh, jeez. Flying up into the, the Duck Hunt down smash. Again, hit, uh, again slapped around. <coughs> Alright. Gonna be, uh, finally even up these uh, stocks. 85, 93... Pretty decent deficit. So Fawn still has like a solid lead. Uh, oh boy. Is not really in uh, too much fear of dying just yet. And yeah, gonna punish uh, the, the NATO with a nice up smash. So now we have like a really strong lead for Fawn. Uh, I don't know if Meta Knight was the pick. You know? I can definitely see not wanting to go Terry versus a character like Duck Hunt, you know. So many projectiles, you know. It, it's kind of hard to get in on, on stuff like that uh, with, like, you know, the kind of coverage that Duck Hunt uh, generates. Still, uh, we'll see if uh, Destiny is going to commit to the Meta Knight. I'm kind of counting them out, but how dare I? No, you know what? I was right. Be counting out because that, that stuff was erased. You know, okay. So Vaughn taking game one. Uh, never doubt myself as a as a commentator. How dare I? For one second, you know, could I be wrong? No, no. Look, I, I, we just knew that this was gonna happen. We just knew. Um. All right, sticking with Meta Knight. Yeah, I guess uh, Destiny just really not a fan of the. Uh, of the Terry matchup versus Duck Hunt. So, I guess uh, we're going to stick it out oh, with Meta Knight. Red Meta Knight. Nice pick. Good pick. Good color. All right. All right. So, now... Uh, the shoe is a little bit on the other foot. Destiny now kind of with a pretty decent lead and going to take out uh, the first stock with the... With, was it the Nair that sealed it or was it the Nair that hit the can that sealed it? Uh, mm, I guess I'll... Let me just quickly look at the replay. Let's just... I think that was the can. Uh, the Midnight uh, Nair is not that strong. Wouldn't sound like that. Anyway, regardless... Uh, yeah, no, Destiny now in the lead, but, is, you know, is on the precipice of the next stock. So, what, you know, Fawn's going to try and, you know, there we go. Kind of seal it out without taking any damage. And now we have dead even percent uh, on this stock, too, for both of them. So, you know, Destiny was able to kind of turn around uh, going from game one to game two. H had a much stronger start here. Uh, and so, you know, Fawn bringing it back. Can Destiny keep... Keep it going, or is Fawn going to turn it around? Oh, boy. That gunman. 
Gotta always be ready for the gunman. Uh oh, uh oh. Was that worth it? You didn't die, but like, was that dimensional cave worth it? I don't think so. I think that was a very ill advised dimensional cave. Ooh, alright. Fawn turning it around now. Uh, Destiny, you can tell that Destiny doesn't have uh, as deep uh, a depth with Meta Knight as he does with Terry. <coughs> Usually, one of the things about like having pocket characters for matchups, um, you're either extremely learned in the matchup or you're just not quite there yet. I do say, though, he's still putting up a pretty decent fight. It is still competitive, but I would, uh, you know, Fawn is still kind of in the driver's seat. We saw like a kind of strong start from the start, but. Is, oh! Alright, can Meta Knight things happen? Wow, that's a big hitbox. Not going to be enough, but almost. Dorf. Rut row, rut row. <coughs> Boom. Ooh. Can Destiny turn this around? Seal it. It's looking pretty good. The can is on the other side. And. Wow. Uh, sneaky up B. Kind of the same of B that we kind of saw in the first game, the one that whiffed, but like, just showing that he's still just not afraid to, to go for it. That's a really spooky situation, and it looks like the uh, the, the hoodie's coming off. That was a, that was a, too spicy of a match. It was like, huh. Oh. that got got me heated. Now let's see. Wow. Okay, so the bands were. Town and City, and Kalos, and Fawn's pick is going to be Battlefield. Interesting. Wait, Battlefield versus Meta Knight? I don't know if I agree with that. Because, like, Meta Knight's going to try and, like, kind of do some extra ladder extension stuff. I mean, I, yeah, like that. That might be it. Okay. Uh, Battlefield Blast Zone still large, but... Uh, you ever pick a stage and then have that happen to you, and even though you didn't die, you go, you might be saying to yourself, I've made a grave mistake. Granted, percents are still pretty even. Fawn definitely fighting back uh, putting up a fight. And I understand that, like, you know, Duck Hunt does have stuff on this stage, and it might and it might be just worth having the larger blast zones because stuff like that ended up not killing, at least for that first stock. But I don't know. It's, ooh. Okay. And yeah, th this is what I'm not really too big of a fan of all of these dimensional capes. Because, like, like I know that you can do them in the safe ish way, but, like, he's not. And so the gunman's just like. Rawr. Nice. I, that was great. Going hella deep off stage, hella quickly. And not, you know, if you're not ready for that, th you're not going to really be able to react to aptly for it and so yeah doesn't evening up those stocks that was some spooky stuff but now we're at low percent are we gonna see maybe uh oh uh oh here comes oh no nato to finish it off i don't know the intricacies of like how meta knight strings those stuff together so maybe there was like a reason why he didn't go for the nato maybe it would uh maybe it wasn't like 100 percent confirmed Oh, spooky. Uh, Fawn, you know, reading. What, what are you trying to infinite infinite dimensional cape? You're about 14 years off, bro. Wrong Meta Knight. Okay. Fawn's uh, uh, building this damage really quickly on Destiny. No, yeah. I mean, there's the stage pick working uh, in in Fawn's favor. Right there. Not going to be enough. There's the stage pick working not in Fawn's favor. Uh, 
Yeah, no, you're definitely going to be ready for that. Okay. Okay, so Meta Knight has, like, mid-ish uh, rage and has ladders. So if Destiny is able to get, like, a clean hit, <laughs> this could turn around really quickly. Or Fawn wins. And you can see, Destiny's looking for... Okay. Destiny was looking for it. Believe me. Trust me. I, I know what I'm talking about. I swear. <laughs> but, yeah, Fawn making sure that that did not happen. And taking the set 2-1. Uh, Moving on to winner's side of Grand.